Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass him half the time. So a quick video on magnetic variation and I thought that this is a very easy way to show people so they can learn the difference. So what, one thing you need to understand is that magnetic variation differs no matter where you are. So for example, if you're in Cairns, you're going to have a different amount of magnetic variation to say someone in Sydney or Melbourne or Perth or Adelaide. It, it just depends on where you are. There's different um, things at play that affect the way the compass works. Now, the compass is just a magnetic instrument. And even some of the things in your cockpit can upset the compass. So, for example, putting a spinning gyroscope next to your compass can make your compass read badly. Um, also, you know, putting your mobile phone or anything magnetic near it. So, one of the things you should always do before you take off on a long cross-country flight is line up with your runway or line up with one of your known points and check your compass accuracy before you start flying you know three hours into the wilderness so let's have a look quickly how it works so there's charts put out that you can look up that show the magnetic variation for your area so in port macquarie the magnetic variation is 11 degrees so if we have a look at this what, I, what i've done is i line up these vertical lines with the vertical lines on the map. And that means that anything I read on this scale is going to be a true, whereas when we get in the aircraft, we don't have anything true to go by. What we, the only thing we have is a magnetic compass. So what we need to do is we need to know before we take off what angle we need to follow on the compass. So the way we do that is we put our protractor on our map like this, we line up the vertical lines, okay? And we find out what our true heading is. So our true heading in this case is 281. Then we look up the magnetic variation charts for our area. And we deduct the variation for our area. So in this case, it's 11. So when we deduct, deduct 11 from 281, we're going to end up with 270. Okay. So even though we actually want to, want to head 281 true, we need to head 270 on our compass. Now then, the other thing is you now need to adjust that for the wind that you're going to experience in flight. I'm Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com. Please give us a share or a like or a comment. That is the only way YouTube knows that this is a good video worth people watching. So please do so. And if you're interested in your RAA, RPL or PPL, exams and passing them with ease, head on over to pilotpracticeexams.com and we have all the Australian RAA, RPL and PPL practice questions there for you.